Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade 1. And we are learning Unit 15. Its title is Riddles. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it. Follow it as it is or modified for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. And today, under the title of Read and Think, we are going to learn how to follow a sequence. Before this, my dear students, we have worked on different projects, right? So, what do we do? Like to complete this project, there are a few steps we have taken. So whenever we do an activity, we do a project, even to study in class, there are a few steps. If I ask you open your book, you open your bag, you take out your book, you open the page. So this is how few steps you take and this will help us to learn, to understand our today's SLO that is follow sequence in a simple procedure or a picture map. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah An-Nur, verse 43. Do you not see that it is Allah who gently drives the clouds? Then he joins them together and then turns them into a thick mass. And thereafter, you see raindrops fall down from its midst. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. But this is telling us the procedure, how from clouds rain falls, subhanAllah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us the procedure of rainfall in Quran. You see what happens, the one, two, three, there are many steps and together there is a procedure of rainfall. So rain is a huge blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should be thankful to Allah for rain and what this verse is telling us like it's a procedure. First Allah drives the clouds, then Allah joins them together, then Allah turns them in a thick mass and then rainfalls this is how so if any of these you know step is missing it will not rain that's why better this is what the definition of sequence is and alhamdulillah this is we are learning from quran subhanallah now my dear children you tell me what is a sequence whatever i told you what do you understand from a sequence pause the video answer this question to your teacher and then come back Yes, my dear children, I hope you tried well. So a sequence is basically, it means the following of one thing after another, right? One thing after another. The way if I ask you write alphabets, English alphabets, from where will you start? From A, then what comes B, C, and if you miss any of the letter, will, be, will it be correct? No. This is the definition of sequence from one to other, to other, to next, to next, to next, to next. You cannot skip or miss any of the letter, right? This is how you will write correct alphabets of English. This is but better. This is the definition of sequence. In, in a sequence, one thing follows the other, one after the other, one after the other. And if any anything drops the sequence breaks and then it will not be called a sequence do you understand okay i brought many examples so keep watching and keep understanding what sequence mean the next one look at this so they are gliding in a sequence okay do you see right the other example of sequence is here even eating an apple you start eating in one bite then other then other then other and then you reach by when it's done right so it's a sequence from one to other to other to other right it's not possible that you add 
eat you can eat an apple in one bite is it possible no so you have to do it step by step one bite then another then another right it's a sequence okay the other example is making of jam we take fruit from tree then we process it then we make jam so if any of this step is missing you cannot get jam right okay planting a plant so first we this is the first step this is the second this is the third this is how gradually one after the other we reach to this point this is a sequence all right and another example is beautiful look at this subhanallah this is a natural sequence one weather after the other one weather after the other okay so it's summer then it falls it's winter then spring right any any like after spring it's not possible that winter comes so all the weathers follow each other it's a sequence even better our day till night is a sequence it's dawn time then morning then noon then afternoon evening night any of the step is not missing subhanallah so this is what the definition of a sequence is no step is missed and one follows the other one follows the other one follows the other right do you understand what a sequence is all right now let's practice it through an activity it's a very interesting activity given in your book all of you open your book and look at this activity here it is okay so what the instructions are you will do it and then i will find out who does it nice i have taught you this diagram remember what is the sound of this diagram right now all the pictures in this maze you know maze like in zigzag way you have to from this is the starting point this is the finishing point you have to complete the maze for the objects joining the objects which contain sh sound we sound sh the way we say shell it's a seashell seashell then join it to the other to the other and reach to this point and the rule is because we just studied about the sequence you cannot skip any row you have to come through all the rows to reach the, this point do you understand so try it pause the video all of you complete this maze in your book and then come back Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Okay, then tell it with me. How did you reach here? It's a starting point. Seashell, shirt, ship, shower, shovel, fish. And what from here? Did you guess it? It's, it's dustbin, but what is in the dustbin? It's trash, right? This is the only... A word in this row which contains shell sound trash and then brush shoe sheep and finish i'll reach here okay once again let's shell shirt ship shower shovel fish trash brush shoe sheep right so this is you see this is a sequence we have not missed any of the row that's why it's an example of sequence so are you clear with it this is how we follow a picture map in a sequence this is a picture map so whenever you do maze it's a you know a process it's a sequence we have to follow do you understand okay Peter. so that's it let's uh, give you a homework you will write five words of diagraph show with initial and final position and here is a worksheet my dear fellow teachers this worksheet lesson plan powerpoint presentation links are given you may click it download it and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice and my dear children what you are going to do it is a procedure right an interesting procedure of making lemonade so you have to find out what in sequence which step comes first second third fourth and fifth so all steps are given you have to arrange them the way we do it to make a lemonade okay so if you don't know the procedure of lemonade you can take help from your teacher or from your mother if you are doing at home right okay 
So what we have learned today, we learned that a sequence means the following of one thing after another. We also learned to follow a sequence in simple picture map. In this way, we achieved our SLO to follow sequence in a simple procedure or a picture map. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.